Teen Services Coordinator here at MPL. We know finding your next great read can be a challenge. So each week we'll release these short book talks to help introduce you to some of our new arrivals and great library reads. Monday marked International Women's Day, a global day of celebrating the social, economic, cultural, and political achievements of women. In this week's adult book talk, we are celebrating the achievements of women with these fiction titles by women authors. First up is Infinite Country by Patricia Engel. Talia is in a correctional facility for adolescent girls in the forested mountains of Colombia after committing an impulsive act of violence that may or may not have been warranted. She urgently needs to return home to her father who awaits her with a plane ticket to the United States. If she misses her flight, she might miss her opportunity to reunite with her family in the North. In Infinite Country, Patricia Engel, herself a dual citizen and a daughter of Colombian immigrants, tells the story of one mixed status family occupying two different countries and two different worlds. Next up is Who is Maude Dixon by Alexandra Andrews. How far would you go to claim the life you always wanted? Florence Darrow is a low-level publishing employee who believes she's destined to be a famous writer. She stumbles into a job as the assistant to the brilliant and enigmatic novelist known as Maude Dixon, whose identity is a secret. The arrangement is perfect. Maude, whose real name is Helen Wilcox, can be prickly, but she's so full of wisdom, wisdom on how to write and how to live. Florence quickly falls under Maude's spell and accompanies her to Morocco, where her latest novel is set. Amid the colorful streets of Marrakesh and the windswept beaches of the coast, Florence feels that her life has finally become interesting enough to inspire a novel of her own. But when Florence wakes up in the hospital after a terrible car accident with no memory of the previous night and no sign of Helen, Florence is tempted to take a shortcut. Why live in Helen's shadow? Why not upgrade into her life and her best-selling pseudonym? And finally, The Kitchen Front by Jennifer Ryan. In The Kitchen Front, World War II has been going on for two years. The Nazis have won battles, the Blitz has destroyed cities, and the U-boats have cut off food supply. To help housewives with food rationing, the BBC sponsors a wartime cooking competition, and the grand prize is a job as the program's first ever female co-host. For each of the novel's main characters, winning this competition would mean the chance to change their lives. For the young widow, it's a chance to pay off her husband's debts and keep a roof over her children's heads. For the kitchen maid, it means a chance to leave servitude. For the lady of the manor, it's a chance to escape her husband's increasing hostile behavior. And for the trained chef, it's a chance to challenge the men at the top of her profession. From the best-selling author of the Chilbury Ladies' Choir comes a heartwarming story of tragedy and friendship. In celebration of International Women's Day on March 8th, MPL is pleased to host a series of special interviews with local career women. Catch these candid conversations with women in unique careers as they talk to me about their career journeys, obstacles they've encountered, and some of their biggest career accomplishments. Our next guest is a communications officer with Barry Fire and Emergency and a volunteer firefighter with the Town of Penetanguishi. Email jpaquette at midlandlibrary.com to register and receive online meeting information. The library is now open for curbside service. You can visit our website for our full list of details, including our frequently asked questions. You can visit us online via our website, using the free Simcoe County Libraries app, or by calling 705-526-4216 to place holds on any of the books that I've mentioned here or any in the library. You can also return your books to the library 24-7 using our book drop. A big thanks to the Government of Canada for the funding for this program. That's it for this week's Adult Book Talk. Take care and happy reading.